morning we find ourselves at midweek in the 12th week of ordinary time in our church year. I thought I would just review briefly for all of us today the scriptural origin of the beautiful prayer we say so often, the Hail Mary. When you go to the gospel and look at the account of uh, the first two joyful mysteries of the rosary, the Annunciation uh, by the Archangel Gabriel to our Blessed Lady of what God's will for her is to be the Mother of God, the Mother of Jesus. And then the second joyful mystery, the Visitation, when our Blessed Lady, having just found out during the Annunciation to her that her elderly cousin Elizabeth, who was thought to be barren and childless, God had blessed her with a child. She then hastens uh, to help Elizabeth uh, in her time of need to deliver her child, whom of course we know is the great Saint John the Baptist, uh, whose birthday we just celebrated uh, last Saturday as a solemnity. But when you read the Gospel accounts of the Annunciation and the Visitation, the whole first half of the Hail Mary is literally all of us saying in prayer form uh, what our, the Archangel Gabriel said to our Blessed Mother, the Blessed Mother's response, and what St. Elizabeth says to our Blessed Mother uh, at the time of the Visitation. Then the second part of the Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death comes from the uh, understanding of the church from the time of the apostles and, and that time when our Blessed Mother was still with them in this world before her death and assumption into heaven. But it's the, the faith of the church that uh, there is no better person to accompany us on our pilgrimage of faith, uh, living to the best of our abilities, our God-given vocations. And there is no person better able to, through her prayerful intercession and guidance, help us through life, and especially at that moment when we face death that great transition as the great fathers of the church uh, called it, death, the bridge between earth and heaven, who better to be accompanying us at that moment, at the end of our earthly lives, and as we face the Lord Jesus, her divine Son, for our particular judgment than his own mother. And so while the first half of the Hail Mary is, is entirely based in sacred scripture, the second half, beginning with Holy Mary, Mother of God, is based entirely in the sacred and constant uh, tradition of the church uh, as we look at our Blessed Lady as the Mother of God and as our Mother, the Mother of the Church. So pray the Hail Mary daily. Pray it often during the day, but understand it's a prayer steeped in sacred scripture and in the holy and sacred tradition of our faith and our church. God bless you during this week and during our summer season.